the more I've, I've thought about what happened about five days ago, the angrier uh, I've gotten. And uh, I'm angry that this was a, a homegrown attack. I was an intern on September 11 on, the, on Capitol Hill, and that was terrifying. Uh, that was an attack from foreigners. Asha uh, was an FBI agent. She's certainly aware of the foreign threats that we faced. But for me, a lot of the anger is that this was incited here in the United States and that the terrorists who attacked us were radicalized and incited by the president of the United States and many accomplices in the Congress. And they didn't attack us on any day. This was a day where we were showing ourselves and showing the world that we could peacefully transfer power with what was supposed to be a ceremonial uh, event of counting the Electoral College of votes. Uh, and they had falsely convinced people to believe that uh, the outcome of the election could be overturned. And we now know from video evidence uh, that many of those who were attacking the Capitol uh, were seeking to execute the Speaker of the House and the Vice President. They were looking for the ballots uh, that we were uh, counting. Thankfully, the Senate staff had this, the presence of mind to get them. But that, that's what's most unsettling about this, is that this was homegrown and a place uh, where I've worked since I was 20 years old, a place that is a, a sacred symbol of freedom, but also was the, the forum for uh, the transfer of power uh, was breached. And as I was on the floor, uh, you know, I it never crossed my mind that we would have to leave the floor uh, because again, you just think of it as a, a secure place. And we went from watching on our phones what was happening outside uh, to hearing the shouting and the banging and the smashing of windows uh, just outside the chamber to being told by the Sergeant of Arms to take out our gas masks. And, and we were told this as if we do this every day. I've, I've never taken out a gas mask uh, before. Uh, opened up the gas mask. Thankfully, military veterans were around and were helping people like me who had never served uh, to open a gas mask. And then there was this hum from the gas mask because apparently it has a certain amount of time uh, that it works. And there's this just hum that had taken over the room from everyone's gas mask. And then being told that be prepared to duck under your chair in case gunfire came in to the chamber. And I had told Ruben Gallego that we should stick together. He's my pal uh, from many years and he had served in Iraq. And the two of us took off our suit coats, just one wanting to be more agile if we had to leave the chamber and, and two not wanting to have any identifying markers on us uh, as to who we are. And, and other members were taking their pins off. Uh, I noticed uh, Ruben grabbed a pen uh, and took off its cap and said, you know, find a pen to me, you know, in case we need to fight our way out. And then the chaplain, the house chaplain who had opened the day uh, in prayer, went to the podium where the president typically speaks for the State of the Union and started to pray again as staff on the floor were moving furniture to the door that opens up and leads into the chamber. And that's where I realized that we weren't safe in that space anymore, that we were going to have to leave uh, and we ultimately did. And, and that's why, you know, frankly, I'm so angry. And I wanna separate my anger, you know, for the president and his enablers in Congress from the duty we have. And the duty we have is to make sure that people in the Capitol, in Washington, across the country at other capitals are safe and that we show ourselves and the rest of the world that on January 20, uh, we will have a peaceful transition to power. And I think the only way to do that is to remove the president from office. If he's not going to be big enough to do that himself, and if Vice President Pence is not going to be big enough to do that uh, through the 25th Amendment, uh, knowing our act and our scene in the House, we have the ability to start that process through impeachment, which I support and I believe will be uh, taking place in the next 48 hours, uh, and then working to convince the Senate to remove him.